Hello everybody, welcome to Guidance Education channel. We will see the topic that is discussed in this video. We are continuing class 11 physics, motion in a straight line. Under that, uniform motion. In this, we will see, yes, the displacement is equal to velocity into time. Please watch the video completely without skipping so that you understand all points clear. And if you think the video is useful, do like the video, share the video with your friends and also leave your feedbacks as comments in the comment box below. If you are watching without subscribing my channel, do subscribe it now. Subscription is totally free as usual. Press the bell button and all buttons so that you get intimated as soon as new videos are posted. Thank you very much. Come, let us see the topic. In this video, we will see how for uniform motion in straight line, the total displacement S yes, during time interval t is equal to its velocity multiplied by time taken for that displacement. In uniform motion, we know velocity will be uniform. That is, the object will be covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. That is, if its velocity is 1 meter per second, every second it will be covering 1 meter. That is, displacement S yes, is equal to velocity into time. I will make it further clear. An object moves from origin O to a point up to C along straight line. Time taken to reach point A is equal to T1 minus T0 or T0. That is, initial time. Time taken to reach point B from point A is equal to T2 minus T1. Time taken to reach point C from point B is equal to T3 minus T2. Now let us see the distances covered. The distance between origin O and A and A and B and also B and C are all equal and it is marked as X. T1 minus T0 is equal to T2 minus T1 is equal to T3 minus T2. That is the time interval for covering equal distance also is same. So the object covers equal distances in equal interval of time. This is what we call uniform motion or uniform velocity because the distance covered in unit time is velocity that is same here. It is customary to represent short displacements by the letter X and large displacements by the letter S. From the diagram you can understand OA is equal to X and OB is equal to X1 and OC is equal to X2. Displacement is a vector, so we will put the sign for vector on all these terms. Now consider distance AB. AB is equal to OB minus OA, which is equal to X1 minus X. Displacement during time interval T2 minus T1, that is during this interval of time is x1 minus x which is equal to ab. Velocity during time interval t2 minus t1 is equal to ab by t2 minus t1 that is displacement by time which is equal to x1 minus x by t2 minus t1. This is equal to s by t2 minus t1 if the distance is great. S is the displacement, so it is a vector. From this, we can calculate, yes, the displacement during the time interval T2 minus T1 is equal to velocity into T2 minus T1. T2 minus T1 is equal to time interval T. Then the formula becomes S is equal to V multiplied by T. That is velocity multiplied by time. Okay. In uniform motion, if we know the velocity and the distance covered in a particular time interval, we can also calculate time interval taken to cover that distance from this formula. T is equal to 
displacement is by velocity. So, in the given diagram, if you want to find out the total displacement S from origin O to point C, when an object is moving with uniform velocity V along a straight line and the time taken is T3 minus T0, then we can directly use this formula and calculate the displacement as S is equal to V into T3 minus T0 which becomes S is equal to V into T. T is the total time taken. T0 is the initial time. So, S is equal to V multiplied by total time taken. I hope now you understood how we got the formula S is equal to V multiplied by T and what is its benefit. Please remember this formula is for uniform motion in one dimension. If you think the video is useful, do like the video, share the video with your friends and also leave your feedbacks as comments in the comment box below, which is very important for me to improve and know your thinking about the video. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, do subscribe it now and also press the bell button and all button for notification of more videos like this. Thank you very much. We will meet in the next video with the next important topic. Till then, bye. Take care.